About 50 of ABC's 225 TV stations refused to air last night's premiere episode of NYPD Blue as the controversy over the show continued. One thing, however, is perfectly clear. Cops love it. Hey! It's an issue, little bitch! Last night's premiere of NYPD Blue was a big hit with real-life New York City cops who gathered with some of the show's production staff at a viewing party. A racy sex scene that showed off a fair amount of flesh prompted some embarrassed laughter. But as for the rough language and violence, the cops said that is the way it is. That's the street. And what, you know, maybe some people don't like that in their living room. Well, that's, you know, I, I can agree with that. If you don't like it in your living room, then don't watch it. Despite the profanities and nudity, people at home tuned into NYPD Blue in big numbers. According to overnight ratings, the show won its time slot by an overwhelming margin, even though it was blacked out in about 50 areas. A Dallas station was one of those that refused to carry the premiere, but some folks there still got to watch it when the Sheraton Grand Hotel picked up the satellite transmission and aired it in their sports bar. If they're worried about skin, you see more on the ESPN volleyball. In conjunction with TV Guide, Entertainment Tonight commissioned its own nationwide survey to find out what viewers thought about NYPD Blue. In our exclusive survey, we found that slightly more than half of those polled liked the show. Of those who were offended by the contents, the sexual material was mentioned most often, followed by offensive language and violence. Still, an overwhelming majority said they would tune in again. And 74% said their local station should continue to air the show, while only 15% said it should not. Another question posed in the exclusive ET TV Guide poll, has your opinion changed of the companies that advertise products on NYPD Blue? Over 80% said no, it had no effect. Entertainment Tonight will participate with TV Guide in future polls about important questions facing television in the 90s.